Dude, that's Derpy here. Um, so this is the second video in the series, and this is going to be going over the measure of notes, which means how long they should be played. Um, and I've got a chart here, which is, I would say, pretty helpful in understanding that. So come on, camera, focus, please. There you go. All right, so a whole note is held for four beats. A half note, which gets this little bar added to it, is held for two beats. A quarter note is held for one beat. And as you can see, when it went from a half note to a quarter note, all they did was they filled in the note, they blackened it. And then an eighth note gets a little flag on there. They call it flags. Um, from between the quarter and the eighth, it gets the flag and it's held for half of a beat. A 16th note gets another flag added to it, so it's held for 1 fourth of a beat. 32nd note is held for 1 eighth of a beat. And I believe, I, I, I can't remember if there are 64th notes or not, but I believe there are. You just add another flag. Um, you're probably wondering, what's a beat? What, what does that mean? Uh, basically, what that means is, and let's get this set up right here. Okay. So if we were doing it in seconds, a whole note, this here, would be held, let's say, eight seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Half note would be held for four seconds. Half of eight. One, two, three. Four. A quarter note would be held for half of a half note, which would mean two seconds, one, two, so on and so forth. Each time, each note, how long it's held is halved. Um, so a whole note gets four beats. Um, some people, when they're trying to learn, they will use something called a metronome, which is this device that just goes click, click, click quick and it's a timing device so that you make sure that you get your timing and your rhythm correct um, so other people will say uh, for a whole note you can go one and two and three and four and and for a half note one and two and and then for a quarter note one and and so on and so forth um, the main thing to know um, is not necessarily getting it just perfect but understanding the difference between the notes and how they play together. And the tempo of a song will determine how long you should hold the notes. So, um, and I'm gonna use the foot pedal to play this little bit of this song here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So if I were to play this at a low tempo based on um, the notes that are in front of me, if it's a low, low tempo, or you can speed up the tempo, but the measure of the notes or how long that they're held for is going to be still relative, but you're not going to hold each one as long. So if I were to speed up the tempo quite a bit, it would be more like Okay, and you can see the difference still sounded the same, but we sped it up. And so the timing really matters as, as far as that goes. So, and this is the piece that I was just playing. So it's dum 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 and as you can see, this is a um, <clears throat> excuse me. This is a quarter note, and above it is a half note. So what that means, this note is going to be held twice as long as that note is. So essentially, while I'm holding this note with the right hand, I can play two of these notes in the amount of time that it takes me to hold that note. Dum dum dum. Dum, dum, da, dum, dum. And these just go bum, 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 bum. 
Bum, 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 bum. Uh, okay, but you, you get the point. <laughs> uh, not the best voice in the world. But it's, it's all relative. So you have to get in the mindset of um, looking at your sheet music while you're playing. A lot of people, when they're first learning, just the same way as when you're learning how to use a keyboard on a computer, you learn, you learn your, your home keys, like your ASDF and um, was it JKL semicolon. Those are your home keys. Um, the same thing applies with the keyboard. You kind of want to get used to not looking up and looking down at the keyboard if you can, because it'll make it a lot easier to learn that way. Um, you won't have to look up at the sheet music, look back down, look up, because what you'll find is if you do that a lot, you'll completely lose your place. Um, when you're first learning, um, it is very helpful to learn the treble clef part with your right hand first in a musical piece or in a piece of sheet music, and then learn the bass clef by itself and then try to put them together. That is the hardest part of playing piano, is teaching your right hand to do something that is completely different from what your left hand is doing. Um, and I will uh, go over a little bit more on note timing. As you can see on this chart, we have a whole note here. Over here is a whole note that has a dot next to it. What that dot means is that this whole note is now held for a whole note and half of a whole note's measure. So if you could, for example, if this whole note was to be held for 8 seconds, this note would be held for 12. If this half note was to be held for 4 seconds, this half, dotted half note would be held for 6 seconds, so on and so forth. So the dot adds um, half of the measure of the note. Hopefully that does make sense. Um, so you just, if it has a dot in front of it, you're going to hold it longer than if it didn't. If you guys have any questions, just hit me up and I will make another video on it.